thousands of people leave the Greek island Ferns as a global heat wave continues. On the Greek island of Rhodes, where a wildfire was burning on Saturday, over 30,000 people were relocated to safety while residents of the southern United States battled a record-breaking heat wave. This summer has been extremely hot for tens of millions of people, and July is expected to be the hottest month on record. As temperature records fall, experts have claimed that the use of fossil fuels is contributing significantly to climate change, which is playing a major part in the extreme heat. As wildfires raged for a sixth day on three fronts, around 19,000 people were evacuated from roads, according to Greek officials on Sunday. According to the Ministry of Climate Change and Civil Protection, this was the largest evacuation from the wildfire in the country. According to the local authorities, 16,000 people were evacuated from 12 villages and many hotels by land and 3,000 people by sea without any fatalities. Six patients with respiratory issues were admitted for a limited period of time before being discharged. To assist in putting out the wildfire on Sunday morning, 10 planes 7 Greek, 2 Turkish, and 1 Croatian and 266 firefighters on the ground were joined by 5 helicopters. Later in the day, a further 15 engines are anticipated. Tourists started moving toward the beach early that afternoon as soon as the evacuation alarm went off, dragging their luggage behind them. While firemen battled the fire, people are being transported to gyms, schools, and hotel conference centers on the island where they will spend the night. In the vicinity of Lairman and Lardos, where the fire is out of control, the fight to put it out continues. Eleven days into a heat wave that has seen temperatures climb beyond 40 Celsius, 104 Fahrenheit, Greece is battling dozens of forest fires. It might be the country's longest heat wave ever. 80% of Americans must endure temperatures of at least 41 degrees Celsius. According to the National Weather Service, NWS, this weekend will be extremely hot for nearly 80 million people in the southern United States. Phoenix is expected to see the nation's worst heat, with temperatures reaching up to 46 degrees Celsius. Arizona has experienced high temperatures above 43 degrees Celsius for a record-breaking three weeks in a row. Death Valley National Park, which is on the border of California and Nevada, has seen a surge in visitors who want to take photos with the temperature display outside the visitor center and post them online. Several meteorologists believe that the 56.7 degrees Celsius world record that was set in July 1913 was most likely the product of an inaccurate measurement, but many people are expecting that it will be broken. In Canada's far north, where there have been wildfires that have covered Montreal and smog, torrential rains have pounded the eastern province of Nova Scotia, closing roads and endangering the dam. Four individuals were listed as missing, including two kids who had been in a car that had been submerged by floodwaters. Leading NASA scientist Gavin Schmidt said that July 2023 is on course to be the hottest month ever, not just in recorded history but also in hundreds, if not thousands, of years. He said that since the El Nino weather pattern has really only just emerged and isn't anticipated to intensify until later in the year, the consequences cannot be exclusively attributed to it. Ocean surface temperatures in the central and eastern Pacific Ocean are known to warm during an El Nino. According to Schmidt, the trend toward high heat is anticipated to continue. Some text goes here we think that's going to continue because we continue to put greenhouse gases into the atmosphere, Schmidt said. Due to Greece's unusually high temperatures, popular tourist destinations like the Acropolis had to close during the hottest hours of the day. On the central Greek island of Avia, a 46-year-old man was reported to have passed away from heat stroke after being taken to the Kolkida hospital. The workers there claimed that the apparent reason looked to be cardiorespiratory failure brought on by exposure to high temperatures. 
Hospitals were also experiencing cases of fainting and other heat-related disorders, emergency health officials reported to the state television, adding that they had hospitalized at least 38 heat stroke patients in the previous three days. Greece is just one of many nations currently experiencing an extended period of high heat around the world.